I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers at RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story and wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi, this is Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. Really excited to be here today at the Lam Lee No Ho 7 Theater here in North Hollywood. I'm here today with... Berengère. Acapertos. And you guys have made several films together. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about the title of your films first? So there is Last Stop and The Bracelet. I mean, I just want to sound like her, so I'm going to start with the accent in just a minute, but let's keep going. Is that French? Um, no, they're Austrian. I met them in Austrian, but I'm French. So, oh, that's yeah. so nice. So it's like half French, half Austrian kind of thing. Yeah. I love it. And what about yourself? I'm actually Samoan, so I'm Polynesian, so, yeah. and I'm from Australia. Nice. So when did you guys get together? How did you guys meet? It was uni. Yeah. <laughs> we met at uni. Um, we were master students at um, one of the universities there, and that's how we came up with yeah. Last Stop. In the southeast vicinity, the electrical organization responsible have provided an you turn that TV to down. families affected, claiming is the worst blackout disaster that okay. Queensland has seen in approximately. So just the gloves. You won't get any cash. Hey. Stop. Whoa. Look. All I want to do is buy some gloves and go home. See how much of the gloves? Cut the tag. And there's one other film that's being yeah. screamed here. Can you share a little bit about that? So the Brasset is a science fiction film. So it's totally different from the one we work together, which is a suspense film. And totally. who and who directed these these films? Me. And who <laughs> produced them? I did one of them. I and I did the other one. Yeah. Okay, so what was the uh, process like for producing these films? Um, it, was, um, it was really good. <laughs> like, it, okay, it was chaotic. It was, it was, it was like you get some truth yeah. here at the Lamley so North was, like, 7. There contracts I had to deal with. There was hmm. like licensing. There was copyright. There was a lot of things I would deal with. But I think my most biggest challenge was the food section because I had to like have different meals for different types of um, casting um, and cast and crew that we had on set. So yeah, but overall it was more of the experiences working yeah. with students from say China as well as, um, well, France. Iranian. And France. then Iranians, yeah, we yeah. had those and Indian students as well. International so crew. We had international wow. crew. Yeah. <laughs> so we're proud to say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so English was the main language, but it was also it was a, a challenge. <laughs> It was a massive yeah. challenge. Yeah. Wow. So let's talk about one film at a time. Okay, With the cool. first one, which one do you prefer to talk about first? Last Stop. We'll it's the Last first Stop. one we made. Last Stop. Can you tell us a little bit about Last Stop? So it's a suspense film about a man 
who has some kind of power and that doesn't like it at all. He doesn't like his power? No. <laughs> I totally screwed that accent up. So. <laughs> so why doesn't he like his power? What kind of power does he have? Like magical superhero powers or like, mm. you know, mental powers or what is it? I don't know which, which category we can it, put. It's all like a psychic power. So yeah. every time he brushes over a, a person's skin, he can see the whole entire mm. past and present to the future. So. Wow, I am so excited. And he's a, and he's a detective, so he kind of like tries to solve a mystery mm. case as well. I can't wait to see this film. Thank you. And where did you guys produce it? Was it made here in California? No. no in Australia and Brisbane. Queensland. Yeah. Wow. Go us. And what made you go all the way out to Australia to film this? Oh, I live there. So we went to uni together. And I was doing my master degree over yeah. there. So we met over there. We did the film over there. And then I had visa problems. So I had to go back to France. Oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> and well, it's so sad because then we have to stop some of our yeah. projects because she left. Mm. And I'm like, some of your projects, yeah. so you have another yeah, so we slate have of... An, so we have another one that's currently going to be hitting um, cinema, I mean, um, festivals soon. So we still got projects to be pumped yeah. through the uh, festivals. Wow, I can't wait to see the ones that you have slated here today. Yeah. What was the second film that you have slated here today? Uh, the Bracelet. The which Bracelet. Is, yeah, which mm. is a science fiction one. So it's about two sisters trapped in a world totally different from the uh, current one. And they have one special day, and the little sister screwed it up. Totally. And the little one? Yeah. She screwed it up? Yeah. Oh, well, I can't wait to watch that. And where, <laughs> and where was that one filmed? In Brisbane. In, <laughs> in Brisbane again. And what is the age category for that film? Like, what um, did you envision of who's going to watch it? I would say everyone. There is no violence, and mainly women, because they're the main characters, two sisters. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Two women. Is that the only thing you stole? Hey, I didn't steal it. It's mine. If I want to be able to have it, I should. Well, they're not going to see it like that. You know how elite are when it comes to their tracking tools, and we really need to get that working again. I can fix it myself. What's with you lately? Why are you being so difficult? Do you even remember what it is? It's a jar. It's not my main concern right now. We made it when we went to the surface together last time, with Mum and Dad. <laughs> Figured. Do your films currently have a website or anything where uh, the world can go online and find your information? <laughs> if not, do you guys have yeah. inf any information on your Instagram or Facebook pages? Um, well, with me, it's like I mainly promoted coming here but yeah. mine is mainly a lot of photography and stuff so yeah the, the, we don't have a website for the film yeah. but we have imdb page oh great mm. yeah so your imdb imdb page could be found under your names or under the film do you the film names. Films okay name. great yeah. that's awesome now do you guys have stage names or do you go by your names oh, by our name. names thank you <laughs> we're blessed with yeah. good names so we're not changing that we know <laughs> it's very hard to pronounce yeah, but no. we like it <laughs> but i think that's what amazing yeah so uh, another question, who inspires you in film as filmmakers now? Do you have like a filmmaker that you can say you look up to? Mm. Oh, there's too many to that's true. You have to pick one. Whoa, that's so hard. Yes, yeah, with me, yeah. it's because uh, I'm actually Polynesian. So it's oh. really hard for me to find a specific Polynesian filmmaker who I look up to because mm. there's so many out there. And yeah, I, I don't know. I seriously have. Yeah, well, I like. I like Sofia Coppola, but she's not the main one that inspired me. It's just one of them. <laughs> nice. Could you guys also share a little bit about your casting? How did you go about that? Oh, well, with the last stop, <laughs> don't even get me started. Yeah. I don't even have, don't have time for this, but <laughs> but with last stop, it was really, um, it was difficult for us to find a leading male mm -hmm. character. Yeah. So we had to um, ask one of our mates, whose name is Chris Bridgewater, and he's got really good contacts in the industry. So, and he works for APA, and APA is a stunt company back in Australia who does a lot of feature films. Nice. So we were fortunate enough to have yeah. him on board, and we're like, we need this guy, and this is what he has to look like. And then we found a guy named Guy Williams, mm. absolutely amazing actor. He yeah. jumped on board straight away. Last minute. Last minute, yeah. Wow. And then he had to come yeah. straight in and rehearse the fighting scenes. Wow. Yeah. So we had to 
we're fully rehearsed the fighting scene because mm. of safety and yeah. also for camera angles before we actually went on set. And then when we went on set, we had to rehearse again and again yeah. with safety officers everywhere. But it was amazing that, but the casting was like, was crazy. But we Very found stressful. Ebony as well. Yeah. Ebony Webb was like a brilliant mm. actor that we had on there and Lois, um, yeah, and Lois as well. So. Yeah, Uta 3 we Ooh. found too. Uh, with casting, mm. the uh, the last one was just a last minute. Yeah, but yeah, that one was very stressful. Last. It was, yeah, because we had to mm. like we only had a few hours before we go on set, mm. so we just had to quickly get him in. But yeah. he was amazing. God, I was like, yeah. prima, thanks. And God. now, how many days of filming was your first film? Mm. Three and a half. Yeah, three and a half yeah. days. Well, three and a half full days. Yeah, it was yeah. on my shift though. <laughs> so I had to go to work, like real work, like because yeah. we do have a real job. And then straight after that, we have to like jump, like I have to run back to my set and then check up on everybody and make sure that everything was running smoothly. Yeah. Amazing. Well, you guys are doing it and making it happen. Uh, yeah. So, you know, amazing experience here at this gorgeous theater. Mm. Is this your first screening of yeah. these films? Uh, oh, to me, it yeah. is. Yeah. It's, we, it went to festival, but I wasn't there. So it's my first screening and I'm actually here. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true, actually, yeah. What what festival did it participate in before? Um, it went it was, to. Uh, there was a spring uh, spring festival. Yeah, yeah, in India. India. It went to two festivals in India. India. Wow. Yeah. International goodness. Yeah, it went to um, United Kingdom, but I can't remember the name yeah. of the festivals. And then it won a couple of awards as well. Yeah. So. Wow. Well, you guys have to stay tuned with News and Entertainment. I'm Janet Miranda, and we have... Béranger. Acapertos. With more coming to you soon, so stay tuned. What are you waiting for? If you want the scoop on news and you want all the juicy stuff, subscribe. Follow us. The links are below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. And you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.